Hey y'all, what's up? This your boy Evan. Oh, I'm Evan, and welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today we're going to be drawing Shadow the Hedgehog. Hey y'all, stop messing around. Come back here in a few seconds, and we'll get started. Okay. Okay, whatever. Gee whiz. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started drawing Shadow the Hedgehog. Beginning with his head, which is a simple sphere. You guys know how I start out most of my drawings. And next we're gonna do his body. It's a smaller like a bean or a jelly bean shape just below the head at an angle. His legs, we're gonna put in sticks for now. And they're just diagonal don't have them just straight up and down that's a boring pose so now we're gonna put his feet in here and for now let's make them triangles and pyramids um, kind of got this leg a little bit too far over so I'm gonna change it back now we have the feet in there let's go ahead and move up to the head now we're gonna put the center line going down this line goes right between his eyes down to the bottom of his face and I'm gonna go ahead and draw his eyes diagonal, the upper eyelid, kind of like Spider-Man's mask, almost. So give him that kind of like mean um, expression with his eyes. Gonna start putting his muzzle in here, his mouth area where his nose and mouth will go. Gonna tweak this just so I can get it just right. We're gonna give him a really mean look when you curve his eyebrow area that gives him a mean expression so one detail you do want to keep in mind when drawing shadow is in his the corner of his eyelid he has a red accent I guess you could say it's probably like the under part of his eyelid his nose is like a pickle shape nothing difficult about it and I'm going to add these guidelines in here for his eyeballs. I'm going to make sure that I keep them kind of on the same level so one eyeball isn't higher or kind of curved or crooked or more crooked than the other one. And I'm going to go ahead and tweak his expression to make him really mean. He looks meaner than Sonic, so that's because Shadow's more of a serious character. He's not as playful as Sonic is, so when he's around, he means business. And add a shine here on his nose. You want to make sure his brow is very curved. The more curved his brow line is, where his eyebrows are, he doesn't have them, but we, we're going to call it an, a brow line. The more curved it is, uh, the meaner his expression will look and the more determined and serious he is. I'm going to carry this all the way through. And just all around, uh, Shadow has more you know, um, details than Sonic does. Now I'm going to tackle his ears up here. It's a triangle, nothing complex about it. It's pretty simple. One triangle inside of another one. Uh, clean up the side of his head and get that straight because we're about to tackle that famous hair of his. So you want to go ahead and start near the base of his neck for his lower strand of his hair and make a, like a square with a triangle at the end of it. I'm going to connect them and curve them off. The same goes for his upper strand of hair like a slanted triangle, a slanted square then a triangle and then you curve it off. Kind of connect them here together and just make sure that his upper strand sticks out further from his head than his lower strand. A lot of people make the mistake of making that one shorter but no his upper strand of hair is longer. Now we're going to put that middle hair fin in his head. I don't know is he part of a punk rock band or something like that? Who has hair like this? And then I'm gonna put this red streak. And then the red streak here on the side. Clean some of these lines up so I can see what I'm doing. 
and just deciding which lines I want to keep and which lines I want to get rid of. So get that down here on the side, tweak it just a bit, and you want to make sure that the curves go along with the, you know, the shape of his head. For his other ear and his hair on the other side of the head, they're pretty, just the same as the, the side we just drew, but just smaller because they're in perspective and they're further away. So you just want to make it smaller. Making it smaller gives the illusion that it's further away from you. And you can use this trick with anything you draw. And getting those red streaks down here for his highlights. What kind of guy is Shadow who has highlights in their hair? So now for that uh, white fur on his chest. As you can see, I just started out with a simple triangle and um, just putting in the, the fur. I'm going to move to the, um, the hairs on his back and then his tail down below. Made a little bit big, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink that, that back hair fin. And his arm, just go ahead and extend it, make a stick, and then put a square at the end of it. And we'll go ahead and give it some thickness. And now time for the bracelet part of his gloves. He has two parts. There's a black part and a red part. Like I said before you guys, he has a lot more details than Sonic does. So Sonic is a breeze compared to drawing Shadow. And I'm going to flesh out his legs a little bit more. And fix the middle part of his body where his legs connect. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a block shape, a general block shape for his left hand. I'm going to go ahead and give him a gun. And his, his fingers and the gun all kind of conform to that block shape. And you want to just draw his fingers wrapping around that block. This is his trigger finger. I like Shadow. He's really a cool looking character. He really is. Kind of like him better than Sonic. Who's your favorite Sonic character or favorite character from the Sonic universe? Get this gun. Make sure your, your gun, if you're going to draw weapons on a character, make sure it's in the proper perspective. So I'm going to use this post-it pad to get my line straight. Yeah. Looking better. Much better. Fix this finger in here. Now finish off his, the cuffs on his gloves. Tweak these. Get these just right. And once you have that square on that other fist, you just go ahead and add in simple creases in the finger and you're good to go. Now we're going to move down to his feet and I'm going to put them on the same line when he's standing on the ground and you want to draw like a, a trapezoid kind of shape and because his shoes are very complex this is a simple way to go ahead and draw them. You want to make sure his toes are lined up on this line along with these metal soles on his shoes these have got to be the most complex shoes i've ever seen on a character if you know a character who has more complex shoes or harder shoes than these please leave it in the comments below because these are like some kobe bryant michael jordan allen iverson you know reebok pump type shoes so <laughs> they really gave this character some hard shoes so as long as your perspective is in order, the, these shoes should be simple to draw. Just keep in mind that his shoes are the basic shape of uh, a pyramid almost. And if you can keep that in mind, then the shoes won't give you a problem. So here I'm going to just go ahead and add in more details on the shoes. Put in those metal soles and the ridges and edges of them. The more detail, once you, you have, you know, the basic shape of your figure down, then you can go ahead. All the details are just simple dressings. You know, it makes it look cool. And he has a lot of detail on him. As I'm cleaning up, I add in details because some of the lines, all the sketchy lines, I, I'm very loose and sketchy. So since I have so many sketchy lines, I have to erase them. 
in order for the details to read clear. I like this gun, so I'm going to go ahead and give it some shine, some tweaking, just make it all around pop more off the page. His hair is too big, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink it here just somewhat. From here on out, I'm just cleaning up, tightening lines. Oops, forgot his mouth. So, he wouldn't be much of a character if he didn't have his mouth. And the shine in his eyes, so can't forget that either. Put his shine in there first, and then put the iris of the eye in there. Take my time with that one. I think it looks pretty good. And go ahead and do the other eye. Get it down there. And that shadow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Be sure to check out the other channel, Cartoon Block Uncut, for other cool behind the scenes stuff. If you could be any character from the Sonic Universe, who would you be and why? Leave your answers in the comments below. Till next time, deuces!